All right, let's go ahead and get into this Vikings-Giants game. Kirk Cousins, Daniel Jones, this game's in New York. Not excited for anything, me personally, on the Giants side of the football whatsoever. The Vikings defense has been in the upper echelon this year. Uh, they're pretty unforgiving, and they're the type of defense, the schemes that they run, the way that they play defense that I think is especially troubling for a young rookie quarterback like Daniel Jones. Yes, they won the game last week, but no, it wasn't a pretty performance from Daniel Jones. He finally looked like a rookie. Uh, we don't think Saquon's going to be back out there. It would help if he was, obviously full strength. But when you talk about Daniel Jones trying to manage this game against this Vikings defense, I think there are going to be some mistakes that take place. They don't give up very much on the ground. So Wayne Gallman between the tackles is going to be a problem, and then you're putting it all on Daniel Jones' shoulders. So I'm not excited about starting really anybody on that offense outside of Evan Ingram, who's a must-start. Yeah, on, on the Vikings side, obviously we had a lot of debate uh, yesterday on our SiriusXM show about Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen. Are they going to turn this around, or are, is is this you know what Mike Zimmer wants when he fired his pass-happy O.C.? And Stefanski comes in and runs the ball, and everyone's complaining except Mike Zimmer. And I, Dalvin Cook. Sh well, Dalvin sure. Dalvin Cook's pretty Dalvin into Cook's it. Dalvin Cook's like, this is pretty sweet, man. <laughs> What's the problem, Stefan? But I do think the squeaky wheel gets the gets the oil this week. They're, they're, Ooh, the oil, not the grease. The yeah, you're oil. going oil. oil That's can. different. <laughs> oil can. <laughs> um <laughs> Is that a wizard? I don't of know Oz? that. Yes. I don't know that. Yes, it's a wizard. A wiz of, yeah. Sorry, it's I'm not. Man. I'm not brushed up on my line for line. Well, I mean, look. If he didn't say that, he wouldn't have got the oil. Look, yeah. Squeaky Tin Man gets the oil. That's is oil really going to help the wheel, though? Is the question we're asking? Because it needs definitely. It is. Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, if grease can help, oil certainly can. At really? least temporarily. Yeah. It's going to lube it up. Al Borland, can I get a nod over there? Are we okay? Yeah. We're okay with we're the oil. Good. All right, move on. <laughs> so the point is here, there's a lot of debate between whether they're going to continue this pass-run ratio or not. And I, they're certainly not flipping back to the beginning of last year. Like, that's out of the question. But I still am a firm believer that th what you've seen so far on the pass-to-run ratio is an outlier, is, is, is at the extreme end of what they're going to do on the season. We're only a quarter of the season in, and I, you know, this matchup is one where – I could very well be proven wrong, right? Because they don't yes. need to throw the I, ball. That's what I was going to say. That's a good could be story, up. but they're probably going to run the ball 60% of the time again. That being said, we've seen a lot of teams when you go up against a poor pass defense, just a poor overall team, yeah, you can have that narrative where, well, they're not going to have to pass. But a lot of times they get the lead by easily passing for touchdowns. Yeah, I, that's, it, that's what I'm saying. It definitely could happen, but – Mike, what else could happen is Mike Zimmer could stare Adam Thielen in the face while he's calling in the play call and say, "Run the ball," and then Adam Thielen just weeps. Yeah, like that—that's also in the range of outcomes. You mentioned yesterday's quick question, scariest start of the week, without question. Diggs is Diggs is moving towards a full bench for me. I know the matchup is nice. I don't know if he makes it on the field, and I don't know what it means when he's on the field. That he's met with everyone. If you listen to the audio of him talking, he admits it ain't right right now. There's frustration in the organization about Diggs because there's been some conversations about him doing this before. I just don't think we have a relenting coach. We have a coach that does things his way to the tune of, I don't like Case Keenum, you're out of town. I don't like John Filippo. see you later. If I don't like Stephon Diggs this week, on the field or not, it's not going to be pretty. I wouldn't play Stephon Diggs personally. I uh, man, I I totally get it. But as as long as the rumblings settle down at least a little bit and Stephon Diggs is active, I will play him. And then just quickly to the other side of the ball, I get it that Evan Ingram is the only one you're excited about playing. But Wayne Gallman did have seven targets last week. He will he will receive volume there, so he's still an okay low end RB two play for me. Congratulations. You made it to me. Click the subscribe button and see more of me.